Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and get started using the LSP Real Organic Bubble Overlays with Photoshop. This set contains real bubble overlays in flow. You can simply drag and drop onto your image using the screen blend mode. It also contains an action pack mini Photoshop applicator action that helps you add, um, convert and mask the bubbles for your image, plus extra layers in there for making the bubbles uh, brighter, more muted, um, different colors and things like that. So you can really get the bubbles to adapt to your image. So let's get started. Upon downloading from the LSP Actions website, you'll notice the LSP Organic Bubble Pack is in a zip folder. On Mac, you need to double click this or use the Archive Utility option to unzip. On Windows, you need to right click and use Extract All and hit Extract and this will pull the files out into an unzipped folder. Photoshop cannot work from a zipped folder, so if you're trying to place bubbles in from a zipped compressed folder, Photoshop will come up with an error message saying no parser or file format can be formatted, um, can be found, so you do really need to work from the unzip extracted folder. It's extracted to make the download faster and to keep everything neat and tidy in the same place. Once you've downloaded, let me just make this a little bit bigger, you'll see all the bubbles and you will also see the action. This is an ATN file. The easiest way to get your action into Photoshop is simply to double click this and now it's installed. If you can't see your action panel, you need to come up here to window and choose actions you also need to have your layers panel visible for best results using the bubbles. So click actions and your action panel will come up. The bubble um, actions will have gone to the bottom of your action panel, but you can simply close this down and drag it right to the top if you wanted to. Or keep it at the bottom, it's entirely up to you. I'm working in grey editing mode for, these, um, for this action, but you can come up here over onto bottom mode drag it into a little column if you want the one click um, bubble options here in button mode. But I'm going to stay over on grey mode for this one. In the bubble applicator pack you'll notice that you have uh, three actions in here. You have place the bubble only which will allow you to place the bubble and instantly blend with your image. You have the full bubble action plus layers. This creates a multitude of layers for you so you can tweak the, act, um, the bubbles further. For example adding a blur, brightening them up, all sorts of things. And then you have add another bubble layer. So once you've played this one, if you would like to add another bubble on top, another bubble layer, um, I'd recommend using this because if you play add full bubble twice, the layers are going to interfere with each other. So add this for your first bubble overlay. Any subsequent bubble overlays you'd like to add on top, use this layer here, this action here. It sounds way more complicated than it is. So let's get started using these. Um, I'm first of all working with this beautiful shot by Amy Jo at Dinky Days Photography. I'm going to use the full action and layers. So click play on this action, select it and click play and you'll notice a little box pops up to say locate your downloaded bubble pack and choose the bubble you'd like to add and hit place. Make sure you're going to work from the unzipped file, not the zipped file or Photoshop is going to have some trouble locating that because the file will still be zipped up. So hit continue and locate the bubbles on your computer and you'll notice they come up with black backgrounds here. This is because they're designed to be used with a screen overlay. So if you're adding by hand without using the actions, you're going to need to change the blend mode to screen. But I'm using the actions here, so it will make it nice and easy. Choose which bubbles you would like to place over the top. For example, I don't know, let's use this one and hit place. And you'll see it appears black over your image here. You can move this around, you can resize it. Um, and when you're happy, hit enter or double click. And you'll notice um, the action plays out, creating a load of layers for you to use. These layers have been popped into a group up here with a white layer mask and a black mush, br mush? brush has already been selected for you. So you can simply paint over any bubbles um, you wish to remove from the image if they're obscuring a subject or they just don't fit in. My brush right now is set to 100% opacity, 35% flow. You may wish to use the same brush settings um, or you can play around with those a little bit. If you're using the place bubble only action, this is as far as you go. You can add your own editing layers if you want to. But if you use the full bubble action plus layers, you can come up here onto the layers panel and click the drop down next to the group. And you'll notice inside you have your bubbles with a blur option. You have warm the bubble, um, cool the bubble, take color out, whiten, vibrant, intensify, finer, sharpen, darken and mute. What you need to do um, to use any of these, you'll notice they are black layer masks, which means to make them show, you want to come over and choose a white brush. The brush is set to soft, um, but it's entirely up to you. It depends what you're doing. So first of all, I'm going to click on the blur option here. 
Some of the bubbles are automatically blurred anyway with the depth of field, but you can go over any of them um, you wish to blur even further to add even more depth to the bubbles. If any of the bubbles look a bit harsh, blurring them out really, really helps, and it helps to add that really realistic um, sense to the bubbles here. For this image too, I think I'm going to use Take the Colour Out, and I'm just going to pop that over a little bit, some of these slightly yellower toned bubble edges, just to cool them down a little bit, just to make them um, fit this bubble scene a little bit more. You may find adding the bubbles in straight away, they are absolutely perfect. You may find you need to edit them a little bit. And you can also use any of these. As long as you click on the black box with a white brush, you can just simply paint over on specific bubbles or the whole um, image if you want to. Really, really easy. I'm just going to close that group down there. If you wanted to add another um, layer of bubbles, please use this, add another bubble layer for any subsequent bubble layers, because what this will do, you hit continue, it's going to merge the, um, the first bubble layer there for you so that the layers don't interfere. You have individual bubbles here as well, um, as well as the full bubble scenes. So for example, you could just add one individual bubble. If you have your child looking in a certain way, perhaps you may want to add a bubble um, directly in their line of sight. Entirely up to you. And again, this will play out all of the layers for you so you can adapt and edit that bubble. You can hit the move tool here and move the bubble around. Um, if you need to position it a little more, you can hit Control or Command T to add a transform box and you can change the size of the bubble. You, these are really, really flexible and very, very editable. So I'm just going to switch over to a white brush and blur that little one behind. And again, maybe take some of that colour out. You could also um, add sharpening to these if you really want to make them um, very obvious. You can literally play with these. They do exactly what they say on the tin, white and vibrant, intensify, darken, muting the bubbles, calms them down a little bit if they look a little bit much on your image. It's entirely up to you. So that's before and after using the LSP organic bubble overlays. Now let's try it with an outdoor image. Again, exactly the same thing. I'm going to use um, the full bubble action here. Actually, I'll just show you what happens when you just place the bubble only action. So let's find some bubbles to pop over the top. You don't need this, uh, the black box to cover your entire image. None of the bubbles overlap the edges, so you can literally resize these to fit um, the size of your image wherever you want. And you can see that's just added the bubbles. It hasn't added any extra layers, no fuss, no frills, just the bubbles converted to screen blending mode. A layer mask is provided for you. You can switch to a black brush and simply remove any of the bubbles you don't wish to show on your image. So that really is how quick it is to add bubbles. For this image, I'm going to use the full bubble action. I hit continue and let's find some bubbles to pop over the top. And you can double click or hit enter and the action will carry on playing, setting up all the layers for you. A black brush is selected, so let's get rid of that one of Dad's face there. Now you see with this image, with the haziness um, of the image and um, where it's quite bright, the bubbles are looking a little bit fine. So I'm going to use the Intensify Bubbles um, mask here inside the group with a white brush because it's a black layer mask, we need white to make it show, and just use this to intensify some of the bubbles there. And this will really help um, bring those bubbles out on this particular image. All the layers are included, you might not use all of the layers but it really just depends on the type of image you're working with. So I'm going to grab a black brush again on the original mask and just remove some of these. And just like that, <laughs> coincidentally that bubble has appeared right over her mouth there which I really really like, I think that looks perfect. <laughs> but you can move the bubbles around again by hitting the move tool and moving them um, wherever you wish them to show. Let's add one individual bubble here um, on the where the little boy's looking. Let's just go for this bubble here. You can take the opacity down a little bit if you wanted to, just to see where you're working. And there we go. Individual bubble added in there. Let me show you how to add the bubbles by hand without using the actions. You need to come up here and choose File, Place Embedded, choose the bubble, um, bubble overlays you're going to be placing in and resize to fit your image. And when you hit Enter, nothing will happen. It will be a black background. You need to come up here on the Blend Mode where it says Normal and come down to Screen. 
you can add a layer mask by clicking on this little box down here, the, uh, the rectangle with the circle inside. Grab a black brush yourself and you can paint these off any areas of the image you don't wish it to show. That's how you add them manually, but that will not set up um, all the additional layers for you. So you will have to add those in manually if you wanted to. I'm going to use the full bubble action. Let's find some bubbles for this image here. I'm just going to rotate those round a little bit so we've just got more filling the, um, the portrait space there. And hit enter so those layers play out. The black brush is already selected so I'm just using that to brush a couple off the skin. And the white tights there. So, before and after. Oh, black brush. You can switch to the white brush and paint the bubbles back in if you want to. Nothing is permanent until you say so, so you really can carry on tweaking. So that's how to use the LSP Organic Bubble Overlays. These are available at www.lsp-actions.com and you can also watch the video tutorials over there on the website. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.